Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. Road construction. It is really starting to pile up full of traffic. We're going through Yellowstone National Park. Yay! Looks like they're doing some bridge work. So, I'm gonna fast track it over to Old Faithful. Otherwise, I ain't gonna get there till tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna pick up the pace a little bit. There is just bumper to bumper cars. Most of the parking lots are full, the pull outs are full. So let's just get over to the other side of this lake and we'll get up and check out Old Faithful. Hopefully I can get in there. Alright, I need to make a left here. What does that sign say? Wow, 39 more miles yet. Okay. So we got 39. I think we skirt the lake for a while and then we're gonna cut up on a different road. I forget uh, which road. I think it's 20. the lake. We're kind of skirting along the, would be the west side, I guess. I kind of knew I was warned uh, when I was back at that RV park over near Cody how packed this thing would be. They were right. Yay. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, we still get to see it, huh? Alright, I'm going to get a few miles in. Uh, I'll just leave the camera roll. Should be getting close to uh, our turn off. Here it is. Teton National Forest off the left. You know, I'll come back in this region a different time of year when it's not so darn busy. I think the best time to get around here is like May, June, and then later in September. Ooh, what we got here? Continental Divide, yay! So we gotta be getting close. 
We probably crossed it a few times. You know, going through Montana, you cross the divide several times. Alrighty, there you go. Cottonelle Divide and Yellowstone National Park. Onward we go. See the traffic picking up? It coming across that lake on the west end, it was getting heavier and heavier. So the skies are clearing up. Got a little, little cloud cover, not bad. Still decent to video. And we got something coming up here. slowing down and what do we got 25 mile an hour and you have to exit <laughs> okay road work right at Old Faithful all right this is it. This is Old Faithful right here. All traffic. Alright. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's... Looks like, oh, okay, they make you a turn here, if, even if you want to continue north, because of road construction. Alright, parking lot, that's what we want. Alright, I'll find a place to park. Wow, there is a lot of people here. Holy moly. Alright, well, let me get through the jungle here and we'll get parked. I had to make two loops around and we're way out, way, way out, but this will work. I don't mind the walk and I'm definitely wearing a mask here. Actually, walking over here is better. Dangerous ground. Beneath your feet. Look at that. All right. We did it. Old faithful guys are right here. Made it.
Look at all the people. My goodness. Well, I'm staying back here in this gravel. We'll just film from back here. What do you say? All right. Wait for Old Faithful to be Old Faithful. <laughs> Oh, here it goes. Look, check it out. All these miles. Here's Old Faithful in her glory. Check it out. Well, how cool. You can hear all the little kids excited. It's fun. Very fun. <laughs> there she goes. Still going. I think it's starting to die down. Well, I'm going to walk. There's a big pathway around it, so we'll walk around there, check that out. Alrighty, you've seen it here. Old Faithful. Well, I'm going to walk around, try to avoid these people, <laughs> if possible. You can walk way back, I'm not going to do it today, but we'll see what we can see here. There's the water it produces. That's the water that comes off the geyser there. Looks like it goes down to a stream or a creek. Wow, there's some hot water. Look at it boil. Boy, there's a lot of people here.
All right, I'm out of here. Um, I'm done. Let's head back to where the van. In case you're wondering, the visitor center is closed. They got a table set up out in front of the doors of it, talking to people with a mask on. Well, one last look over there at the geyser. It was cool. It was worth it. We were here. Actually, the crowd thinned out. There's our visitor center right there. See the line? That's where they you can get information. Their rangers are standing outside. All right, here we are, the beast. Off to West Yellowstone we go. All right, exit. Yay. <laughs> Get out of the zoo. But look at all the people. At least they, most of them are wearing a mask. It looked pretty safe. I wore mine. getting back on the highway this is why look at this they're putting a overpass interchange in here that's where all the construction that's why they directed traffic through they're building an interchange for old faithful it's like a freeway <laughs> so if you ever come here that's what you'll see on the map. I know there's some other geysers up this way. Um, if it's crowded, I'm not stopping. If it's open, we will stop. There's something here. People are parked on the road. You can see the steam coming off from the hot water. Oh, there's that big rig. Remember that? Way at the beginning. People walking in from there. Oh, look at the parking lot. No way. Look, they're lined up to park. Look at the line just to get in. Car after car. No way. All right. Keep on trucking. Maybe I can get a view out the window. There's a little side view. <laughs> A 
Look at this. There's just people parked everywhere. Honking their horns. Trying to get in and out of this place. That word out sounds good to me. Let's head to West Yellowstone. I'm done. Still a pretty drive. We are in Yellowstone National Park. Definitely, this is uh, one to come back to. I'd say end of May, right when the park first opens up, when the snow's melting. That'd be just absolutely gorgeous to be here. And also, I heard end of September, 1st of October, for the snow flies, it's a good time to come here. Like early, early morning. This is one where you'd start out at 6 a.m., get here and park check it out when the daylight hits and then leave I just got here way too late coming in from Cody wow see that boat <laughs> probably heading to the lake bring a big boat look at the steam coming off over there Away we go. Turnoff should be coming up right shortly. Going to the phone here. Yep. Going to be heading west here. And we'll go straight into West Yellowstone. Welcome to Montana. This is West Yellowstone in Montana. We just crossed the state line. There was a tiny little sign back there. <laughs> You're entering Montana. Let's see how many cars are waiting to get in here. This would be the west entrance to Yellowstone. Wow, look at that, four lanes. All right, if you're going to come here, that's what you got. My suggestion would be get out here like at 6 a.m. Not mid-afternoon. All righty, well, we did it. All the way across northern Wyoming. Got to see Yellowstone, Cody, Bighorn Mountains. What a beautiful trip. Great state to travel through, Wyoming. 
Okay, well, I'm going to spend the night up here, look up my buddy here in West Yellowstone. Then from there, I don't know. You're watching the RVR TV Virtual Vacation 2020. The journey continues. Talk soon.